So we're finally back in storage. It is a beautiful day. So we're doing a bunch of stuff. Someone's coming to potentially buy this couch right here for $400. We've had it so long. Like even if they show up, they can have it for like $200, $100. Like I don't care, like just take it. And then that couch, I loaded up, most likely just donate it or if someone wants to buy it in the next 20 minutes for $0 or you know, more than welcome to. Because we need to purge a little bit and because we have this black sectional, this no leather one we got yesterday, that one's unlisted, that black recliner is unlisted, that chair is unlisted, and just that is listed. Well, and this blue one, plus the stuff in that unit right there. But currently, Billy's taking pictures of this couch that he got. Remember about to stitch up this hole right here. Just a quick little repair, shouldn't be too crazy. But then Billy's measuring this. This is what he got. This is free. Yep. So this is also free. That was 50 bucks. That was free. That was free. That was free. That was free. You know, you get the theme around here. We don't pay for jack. <laughs> but this couch looks pretty good. It looks like um, uh, a West Elm Eddy, like right off the bat, but it's not because it doesn't have the like connected feet. But this should probably sell for like 400, 500 pretty quickly. And so I'm just gonna get to this. I'm gonna stitch this up real quick. So it's currently at like 8.30 o'clock at night. We just went and picked up this two-piece Ashley Chase sectional. And we're gonna try to go to storage unit before the gates close. Okay, so we just got to the storage unit and I dropped my phone and my seatbelt is restricting me. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's currently, what time is it? 8.47 and we have 10 minutes to unload this before we spend the night in storage units. Okay, so we're here. Start undoing all the straps while Billy opens the door. We got a lot done today. But here is that couch. We'll show you a better picture when we're back in the morning. So here is this couch all set up. There's obviously some pretty obvious wear and tear. You know, just cut these strings off. Take the fabric shaver to this stuff, make it look way better. And probably take this home, put it in the wash, these two. Maybe just take all the seat cushions home and put it in the wash. Just make sure it's a little bit better. And then around the back, I don't know what the heck that is. It's like baby puke or something disgusting. Gross, but it's not uncommon, surprisingly. And a little extra through loose threads, a couple more loose threads. And then like kind of damage there but i mean free this is actually actually branded too even though like this is free it still should sell for like five to seven hundred somewhere around there it's not like the worst color it's also like not the best color if it was gray it'd be much much better but brown's not the hottest color in the world but so an update billy made it and he's putting the covers on this ikea knockleby couch Not which me. I had this exact same couch maybe two months ago and I sold it for $650 and he got it for free. So then, and then this is a couch I got actually at Goodwill, this leather one. I paid $130 for it. This should sell for like seven to nine maybe because it's a pretty decent couch. And then I still got to stitch up this one. So this big old, like someone took a razor blade to this poor couch for some reason. So it's unfortunate. And then we're slowly stitching up all the holes in this black sectional as we go. And then this couch out here got shaved. So now like all the damages and stuff that were on this side aren't there as much. And I haven't made my way down here because the cord didn't reach. So, but then over here, like where all the baby puke was, you know, that got cleaned. So and keep going down this way and there's a bunch of like stains and stuff on the bottom that got uh, cleaned out and all I use is this this pesticide sprayer with Audubon chemical and water and then this drill with a little drill attachment scrub brush which is you know all in that's probably like maybe a hundred dollars and then I'm about to stitch up this little hole right here got a ladder stitch that up the recliner that was in the back of the truck I donated it and a couple other things so that's gone and the lady that was supposed to come look at this black couch never replied to Billy so yay 
and I need to get that table home today because Megan wants to redo it. So we're just going to keep going in here until something else happens. So we're still here working on storage and Billy's using, what is this called? Uh, yeah. Here vinyl <clears throat> coloring bomb. Coloring dye to see if you can fix this up a little bit better. And then I brought this couch out. Well, Billy and I helped me move this couch out. This is a Plesima brand. This actually retails for like 4000 which is ridiculous because it's not even real leather. But this is actually a Roche de Bobos dupe. If it was real, if it was real leathers and they actually said Roche de Bobos, this is like $22,000, but I'm not that lucky. So <laughs> this thing's actually pretty nice though. You know, minor, a little bit fading where people sit, of course. And like, there's a little bit of red splotch, which is kind of whatever. But bought this at Google for 130 bucks. And then someone is sending deposit. Let's see if they actually paid for it yet. Open up this. Oh, cool. Someone just bought a item on eBay for 70 bucks. But someone is buying this couch down here for $425. We had to deliver it like 40 minutes away. And then Billy sold that for... I think 450 plus delivery tomorrow morning. Those are all the current pending sales at the moment. How much did you sell that like wood frame one? Yeah, 525 with delivery because it's pretty far. So we're all done for the day. Kind of, what time is it? 450. We've been here for probably three, four hours, but got photos of this couch. I still need to fix this small little tear right here. I totally missed it when I was going over it. Fix that one, and then I haven't touched that black recliner. Billy's got all the covers on, he's waiting for these ones to dry, and that would be pictures probably tomorrow. I just also remembered I didn't even touch the table, because no thank you. But Ikea sectional, Joybird, Ashley's, Dania, Policima, also Ashley's, vintage Ikea faux leather sectional, vintage MCM modular sectional, Natuzzi, Astenia, this is Ikea. And then these people ended up did paying, so we're gonna go ahead and deliver that. Surprise, surprise, we're back at storage. But Billy, we just loaded up this couch. He sold it for $5.25. So he's gotta drive maybe 30 minutes. And then I'm also buying another six piece modular sectional for 80 bucks, like 10 minutes away. But I need to go home and finish shipping eBay. And I'll go get this. So just went and picked up this couch. He had it up for hundred bucks, but when I got there in person, it was a lot more beat up than I thought it was. So we made a deal and bought it for 40 bucks. Happened to be one of my really old uh, best friend's neighbors. So that was pretty cool. So I'm just going to unload it in here real quick. Maybe I'll put it out here and try and clean it up best I can. But Billy ended up selling a couch and a different person is supposed to maybe buy that today. So we'll see. So here it is out of my truck but it's like I don't even know if that can come out hopefully it can but this was my main concern it's like super sacked out cushion but other people that I know that sell couches for a living they give me a bunch of tips on it so I'll just cut the bottom off and then stuff it full of this polyfill and hopefully that makes it you know look more plump like these ones not so sad and you know there's like bunch of dirt and dust and it's like it's like crusty to the feel too this is this is kind of gross so but i know these ones if i can get it really clean these ones sell very 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 well in my area if i can get this really clean it's like easy 700 800 if i can't get it clean you know easy 300 400 so we'll see I just noticed something, but I'm going to see if I can catch this on camera. Maybe, maybe not, but you can see all of the dust. Gross. I haven't had to use this yet, but my shop back also disconnects and turns into a leaf blower. So I'm going to try and blow as much of this dirty, crusty, dusty. So here is that really sad looking cushion. I cut open the bottom and stuffed it full of some polyfoam. It looks a lot better. I didn't finish cleaning it because the drill died and I still need to go deliver my mail for eBay orders, so. 
So someone's coming to buy this off Billy for three hundred dollars. So sweet. And then I'm currently, obviously, I'm back in storage. The drill is now charged, so I can now use it again. But I've been over here stitching up this hole. So this is what I got going on. And this couch is heavily faded, and I sprayed it with some black spray. But it doesn't really do that big of a difference, honestly. I don't think that'll add. If I sprayed it off, it would add any value. So, so I'm calling this good enough. This is my ladder stitch work. I mean, I you obviously know there was a hole there, but now you can't see like you know the plastic and stuff. So I think that looks I think that looks pretty good. Probably get 300 bucks out of this. So, what ebbs? Currently having my lunch. I loaded up that couch, and Billy's gonna go let him out. So Billy got this couch all washed and cleaned, but so good before. you can't even tell. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but yeah, you can kind of see like that discoloration. Well, these did not turn out great. The whole thing went through the wash and got bleached and oxied and I mean, camera that doesn't look that bad. But like in person, it's a lot worse. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna try and shave off the little extra peach fuzz. So we're all done. Let's see, we pictured. Mm -hmm. So Billy got this couch done. It looks a lot worse in person, unfortunately. And then I stitched up this. You can't really tell anymore. The spray doesn't really work at all, so. Probably not gonna go ahead and spray that because I don't think it'll add any value. And then someone in that, you can't see, but someone in that unit is buying a couch tomorrow for a thousand dollars. What do you think, Billy? Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're back at storage because surprisingly, another couch just sold. So they want us to deliver it. I will show you it here in a second. So they actually just bought this couch, this like heavy faded black dania couch and yeah this is my little repair job yeah not so great but that's okay yeah surprisingly fast so whatever so here is this couch all loaded up this was free like i think i'm monday and today's currently friday so what i thought was kind of gross i'm sold so whatever so as you can tell the couch is all loaded up and she gave us these little organic juice things and it's actually really good but billy got gatorade yeah so we're back here in storage it's about to be 10 o'clock in the morning yeah about to be 10 o'clock and someone's on their way to right now to come buy this for 970 i bought this for 10 bucks crazy here is what i got these like three vintage mcm dining or lounge chairs pink like a baby blue and it's like really like mustard grinch color and megan loved this pillow so i got it too but i paid 175 dollars for all three of these it is still the same day from when we got those uh colorful chairs and this is actually a west elm this is the only damage i can find is like this like weird line i think i should be able to clean that out but this is indeed a west elm this is the andy's uh futon with the ottoman Retail on this is uh, 2900 and I paid 350 so should be able to get a thousand. So here is that West of the couch I just got. It is the futon version of the Andy sofa. I'll show you real quick. There you go. Futon. But I'm going to finish taking my pictures, get this listed, and put it up for sale. And then Billy just had someone come and buy this thing, so this like vintage ikea leather sectional someone bought it all in 375 i would have taken 50 bucks so cool
Come on now, this couch is loaded. Just gotta strap it up. So then we sold this for, this sold for 375. This is the Westham I just got today. And then someone just asked Billy how much this Ikea one was. So maybe they'll buy it today for 500 delivered uh, 23 miles away. So we shall see. Crush your head.